Yo guys, what's up? So I guess my first video since getting back in uniform. If you've been a member of the channel, you know I was uh, in the Air Force from 12 to 18. Got out contractor for four years. And I had to leave my job at Lockheed Martin when we moved to Virginia. I haven't been able to find quite a uh, very good paying job. So I decided to join back up with the Air Force. I joined the Guard. So it's only like weekends and like two full weeks a year or whatever. I'm just waiting to find a full-time position possibly we'll we'll see how that all works out but uh, if you know the red horse squadron that's where i'm at now i'm going in for uh oh, power production so doing electrical stuff figured i would uh figured i would you know go for one of the, my weaknesses which is like electrical like diag and just wiring in general i am like kind of like have a not necessarily like a fear but i hate dealing with it just because i don't know it and i don't really want to put forth the time to learn but now I'll have to, so, whatever. Anyway, uh, I got some time to burn, so I figured I'd show you guys a few things in the car. Might as well. After this, well, it was supposed to be today, go get this resonator chopped off and uh, just put in a pipe so it'll get a little bit of noise back there, but you wanted to reschedule to tomorrow, so. Anyway, we're in the car. Um, I, was, I was asked to show, like, how the audio is, so I'll try to find a, uh, what's it called, a song that I can play that isn't, like copyright but i wanted to go over these buttons now normally i don't i wouldn't ever say anything about buttons but these buttons have like you ever just press a button and it has such a good click like you hear that oh it's just so good like the, all the buttons are just such good clicks like and then these down so this is like um for like the fan and the temperature like they go up and down so you got these go up and down i really like it um i actually tried it out for the first time the other day like the car will park itself like i go up to a parking spot it only does it in reverse i think so if you're parallel parking actually no it does do it in forward because it shows you like a picture on here of like how to do it you, know, you like get to you like almost to your parking spot or whatever you hit this button and then it tells you either to put it in forward or, re or reverse and then it just like you have to control the brake but it'll do all the steering and stuff for you the throttle it's really neat so i want to show you guys like the startup screen oh. oh and then when you shut it off you gotta wait a while i need to wear this audi goes away sigh see that that was cool I really like that. And over here, you got um, child buttons individually for the back windows. And you can like flip the mirrors, turn them to heated, etc. Which I need to leave it on that. It's been getting colder out. This I really like too. So it's touch for the volume. And then like it's also buttons to so turn the screen off or turn it on. Next and then pause is really nice. Um, and when you like turn the car off, you don't even have to hit park. You can just turn the car off and it, it puts it in park and puts the brake on for you. Um, what else? This thing actually slides and locks unlike the Golf. I think it'll, it'll lock, which I like a lot. Got my draggy down in there. Still need to do some draggy runs for you guys, but it's just been wet and rainy and gross. So there's that. The seats are super nice. Like I really, really like the seats. You got an armrest comes down there with cup holders, USB C back there, USB C down here. It's nice. Oh, and this is a wireless charging mat as well, so your phone will go here and charge. The glove box is kind of really small, but uh, it gets the job done. Door cards aren't definitely anywhere near the size of what the golf was. I could fit my big water bottle in here in my golf. But uh, really, that's whatever. It's slimmer. It's nice. Uh, we got memory seats. You double click to go. Like if I want number one, I double click it. Or number two, double click that. Or you can just hold it and it'll like slowly, like it'll just do as long as you hold it. But if you double click, it'll take you all the way. If the car's on, I guess. Bad representation. I apologize. I do like the vents as well. The way they slide. I have a really nice click and like the... There's like resistance to this, so it's not just like really cheap, flimsy. Like there is like a decent resistance to this. Like if you ever had like a slot <clears throat> or play with like a soft closed drawer in like a kitchen or cabinet, that's kind of how it feels. Like it's just real smooth, like has a nice 
resistance to it. But uh, oh, and we got the bezel-less mirror. I really like that. Boom, some EQT goodness there. And of course, we got a sunroof. Um, seems great so far. Well, another thing I don't like. So there's a couple things I don't like. I don't like it's not a flat bottom steering wheel, but I guess from what I've read or heard because of like the uh, ACC like sensing it needs to like sense your hand on the, hearing, on the steering wheel like it beeps at you I showed you guys in that one video um, I guess they couldn't do that with the flat bottom or something I don't know how true that is but I'm gonna try and get a flat bottom in here I don't like that there's not a sunglasses holder I have to put my sunglasses down here kind of annoying I do miss that but these are touch so that's cool um, I have no idea what this is I don't know if that's like microphones or what, but yeah. I don't know. These are nice LEDs. I think that's about all I got. You got speakers up here, speakers obviously in the doors, and then you got, I guess, like the subs and stuff back there. Or maybe they are just speakers, I don't know. There is like subwoofer, like you can go into the settings here, and there's a subwoofer option. Or at least, well. I guess I gotta turn the car on for everything, huh? I should probably do that. I'm not lying to you guys. There is a subwoofer often. Also, little option. There's all types of options. Here. Am I losing my mind? Oh, see, look, there it is. Once the car's on, you got it, and shows the focus. I changed the focus. Dang, did I just move that? I had it like up here. Um, this is the settings I have it at. And it, like the 3D all the way up, surround sound a couple clicks, focus to the rear. It really made a difference doing from all to rear. And it just sounds so much better for some reason. Maybe because I'm like partially deaf, but that's about where I have it. I haven't even used like the re regular infotainment or like regular like media, like, or radio stuff i haven't used it at all i've only used wireless car break so oh boy actually no i did use it for a second because i wanted to see if if this was free to use howard stern i like howard stern it's funny but uh man there's like i was telling you guys about the different views and stuff anyway hell of an intro um we're gonna cut to getting to the shop and getting some exhaust stuff done See guys, here's a perfect example of the car driving itself. I'm in some pretty crappy traffic and my feet are not on the pedals. And it's gonna, look, we're about to slow up. Car's braking for me, I'm not on the pedals. I'm just gonna, it's just gonna do its thing. Pretty neat, and it stays in the lanes, like I really don't need to do anything. Just kinda keep my hand on the wheel, stay alert of the road. Just in case, but uh, it's nice with it. Traffic jams are no longer too terrible. See, look, we're slowing down. Car's gonna start braking. I'm not doing anything. It's really nice. Though, I'll tell you guys what I am loving this car when we get back I'm gonna change out of this uniform and uh, we're gonna go do some draggy runs it's been raining for like three four five days straight on and off so I haven't been able to do anything my car's filthy because of it I washed it Monday and it's been shitty ever since so we're gonna try and go out today we got the GoPro up here we'll try and get some draggy runs going I'll oh, see look now it's telling me to put my hands there well but I'm gonna shut up but uh Really loving this thing so far. Woo! Hard brake. I almost had to put on my foot on the pedal. I don't entirely trust it yet, but. Woo! Woo! See? It's like, hey. <laughs> and that's not even me on the gas with a brake yet. <laughs> it's really neat. All right. Some of you guys were asking about audio. So it, it says it's copyright free, so hopefully I don't get in trouble. We'll turn it up a little bit. It's 
definitely not as good as my uh, my Jeep was in terms of like bass at least, but I think it sounds it's like really nice and like I like clarity more than anything, so it's nice and clear. I feel like that everything's free. I'm not no I'm not an audio file by any means, but it definitely sounds way better than my Golf R did with the Fender system, but not as great. I think it was Beats in my Jeep. So if you ever heard either one of those, it's in between, definitely more towards the beat side. It's it's pretty really good. I really like it. Um, so I'm gonna pop the hood real quick, show you guys over the engine again, and uh, that the batteries in the back and all that. I don't know if I went over all of that or not, but check it out. Do that again. It's a bit different. You don't lift up on the hood. Oh, I got some bird shit. You you slide across the bottom. You got this guy here, kind of like the Atlas. Is that way, I believe. Let's see, no battery here, and I believe it is a DQ381, according to the way the filter sits. If you guys can see it, the filter aims like it's parallel with the car. It doesn't stick up and down. So I believe it's the DQ381, the DQ500, and the DQ250 both. The filters stand upright. I'm still, I'm not 100% sure. It could be something completely new, but I doubt it. Um, yeah, ain't too much to see. The cam magnets are different. Obviously, the, the turbo is different, and uh, a couple other things here. Rip this off real quick. Um, we got a sensor on the PCB. There's still provisions, there's still stuff there for port injection, but even uh, the UK or like Europe doesn't get port injection on the new stuff, so. New fuel lines, new high pressure fuel pump. Uh, the way the O2 sensor connector here sits is a bit different. The brake booster is way different. I believe it's all electric now. I don't, I don't see any uh, like vacuum lines going to it. The boost pipes are a bit different. Obviously the intake tube and all that's a bit different. The inverter valves up here, the throttle pipe for better, uh, better throttle response. At least, so I'm told. I think it has pretty great spot throttle response for being stock, definitely. Um, back here in the trunk, plenty of space. Got my springs back here. Uh, hopefully, get those done this week. I guess I gotta unhook these real quick. It's got the hook built in for this. And then, uh, got a grocery hook here, too. I think I went over some of this. Sorry if, it's, if I'm repeating myself. And then a big old chunky boy battery in the back. So that's nice. Really neat. One thing it took me a while to notice is these slits in the in the diffuser. I didn't realize that for a while. I was like, oh shit, that's pretty neat. And the oil pan's metal, so that's cool too. Um, nothing fancy here. Yeah, that's about it. Um, Depending on how long this video is, I might make the draggy video a second video, and then this week hopefully I can get these springs in the car. Um, sorry, this video is kind of all over the place because I had things planned, and then people fell through, and then they came back, and they fell through again. So everything's just kind of out of whack. Really wanted to have that resonator delete done, but I'm probably just going to order the one from the UK and do it myself since nobody can be reliable. I suppose it is what it is. Just uh, in time. I got plenty of time to do things. I'm just in a rush because I want content. I want noise. I want to go fast, but I'm not gonna be able to get a tune on this thing for a while. So I guess it really doesn't matter. But we get this in, get me changed, and figure out what the next course of this video might be.